Hi. Hey. Dust 350 here. Coming at you with a special edition review of a product that some call Dermal Therapy Lip Balm. Berry flavor. So let's just jump straight into this. As you can see, this is the lip balm. It's ultra moisturizing, visible results in one day, but severely dry and chapped lips. All right, so it's made in Australia and it's Australian owned. And that's all it says on the front. Now, before we get any further into this, got this uh, lip balm as a gift. I didn't buy it and I don't know how much it costs, but I'm assuming that it costs four dollars maybe at the shop maybe three at chemist in warehouse anyway moving on it says on this under the flap side that some might neglect to freaking notice it says easy to use applicator alleviates severe dryness and discomfort clinically tested arts acting intensive hydration for severely dry and chapped lips and it's got some Nice looking lippies on the front there. Alright. Uh, it's got some manufacturer importing phone numbers and stuff and barcode we can skip. It's got a little scan for your chance to win. I'll let someone else scan that if you want to. And, um, but we are going to read the back before we unwind the packet. Now let's just jump straight into that. Dermal therapy. Lip Balm Berry. Same great lip balm, also in berry flavor. Dermal Therapy Lip Balm Berry is a concentrated formula containing a synergistic blend of ingredients designed to soften and hydrate severely dried lips, keeping them smooth and healthy. It's enhanced with a fruity berry flavor that brings a fresh and sweet feeling to the lips. I can't wait. Directions. Apply liberally to affected area three to four times daily or as required. Suitable for adults and children over three years of age. The before and after photographs are typical of the res of the effect of dermal therapy lip balm. Individual results may vary. So, oh yeah, this is the thing they're talking about, the before and after of the uh, lips and some little berries there. It's a bit blurry. I don't know if I can get that to focus. A oh, welly. And take my word for him that one of them looks pretty crunchy and the other one's looking luscious. All right. So it's got a little review over there on the uh, right. Five stars. It's got best lip balm ever. I seriously cannot live without dermal therapy lip balm. The amazing feels. It's not sticky at all. And it's guaranteed to leave lips nourished and soft. The original has a sort of cool menthol flavor while the berry is super fruity and not overly sweet. I definitely recommend this one. It says on the actual packet of the thing itself. And that's Beauty Haven trial team member Eva Pinky. Eva.pinky. If someone wants to look her up. Uh, or him. No, Eva. It's not a him. Alright. Okay, so it's got a little graph here. Let me just get a look at that. Look at that graph. Increase in lip moisture. So day zero. That's what we're on. Upper lip and lower lip have got a different... This, this graph is freaking crazy. I'm going to try and enhance on that in post. Like That graph is freaking... So, as you can see, the skin hydration level goes up over time. Like, I don't know what the 30 and 60... In, is it a percent? I don't know what it is. It's just a moisture rating from 30 to 65. Oh well. The... The study was conducted at the Australian Photobiology Testing Facility, Sydney, in 2011. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's pretty outdated, like, they need to do a new study. This freaking, you know, you can't rely on 15-year-old lip balm studies. Alright, so now let's see the ingredients and the, um, the warning. Alright. So the ingredients, Pet petrolatum, aqua, theobroma, cacao, c 
cocoa in brackets, seed butter, lanolin, ethanol alcohol, glyceryl, glyceryl stearate, excuse me, stearic acid, urea, lava, cetyl esters, palmitic acid, cetyl alcohol, laurel alcohol, myristyl alcohol, lecithin, camphor, menthol, rebutocide, rebordioside, rebordioside A, excuse me, eugenia, carophyllus, in brackets clove, clove leaf oil, potassium sorbate, sodium benzoate, eugenol, excuse me, uh, well look, that's sounding alright to me, there's a lot of different alcohols in there, I don't mind the settle esters, they're doing me a few favours, and um, the eugenol is not to be discounted, alright, now let's just hear the warning, for external use only, Avoid contact with eyes, keep out of reach of children. Except for it said earlier that it was suitable for them. Anyway, you gotta always replace cap after use. Discontinue if local irritation or rash occurs during use. Do not dispose of carton, as it, in, as it contains important information. So I've gotta cherish this carton. And I gotta store below 30 degrees Celsius in a cool, dry area. Alright. So... That's, that's the packet, and I'm going to open it now. I think I'm going to open it from the top. That's not possible. I'm going to open it from here. Scan and win. I should have worn my glasses, my review glasses, like, a welly. I guess I would have been squinting pretty hard to see it. Now, off the bat, this is not what I was expecting to come out of the packet. I was expecting something in the shape of a lipstick, but this is clearly like a little squeezy tube. I don't... Oh no, it said it did have an easy applicator, but like... I don't know. I was expecting lipstick. Not that I should friggin' be, but no, you know, I welly. Let's just stop this little uh, review for a second and go off course and say that I'm a hard-boiled gamer and I'm not the kind of um, person to usually use a lip balm but it's like when I'm given a lip balm brand new as a gift I feel like I better give it a try and break it down for future reference because it's like it's not like it's the first lip balm I've ever used but it's the first lip balm I've used in a hell of a long time and it's the first time I've read the packet that's for damn sure so I'm not going to repeat it, because it probably just says the same shit on here. It's, it's Dermal Therapy Lip Balm Berry. Excuse me. And it's, uh... Lacorium Health Australia PDY Limited. Bondi Junction. And it's got the website. So... I've got the website, as you can see here. Now, before I apply this, let's just see if we can find it. Face and lips, that's what we're working with. Uh, excuse me, face and lips. Where the hell's the face and lips? Their website's not, um, cooperating with me. Is it opening a new page or something? Well, as you can see here, this website is crazy, but... There might be something worth noticing. Am I missing something here? Why isn't the face and lips page opening? Open a new tab, how about that? Okay. Maybe, you know, they expect me to be using Microsoft Edge. Oh, welly. So this is what we... Oh, we don't have original. We don't have sensitive. Where's berry? We don't have Manuka honey. This is what we have, berry. 650 Jesus Well, this is what we got Right, but can we hear some real results like while we're here? Just let me put the lip balm down for a second and put my gamer headphone on Is this gonna play something?
Yes. This lip balm really saved my lip. Now I just can't leave the house with it. I've got about five of these on the go at all times. Holy moly. On the skin medication, which really dried my lips out. Um, I have been using the lip balms from Gemmel Therapy for over a year now. I've actually recommended it to quite a few friends and they've all absolutely loved it. And this berry flavor is delicious. So it's got all the benefits of the original, plus it has a nice flavor. And the mint one's really nice for like after you brush your teeth at the end of the day, you know, if you want a really minty fresh. What the hell? They just cut her off. Well, look. Let's see Nicole just like, I don't want to watch all of these, but um, that was pretty good. She seems nice. She likes the freaking lip balm. I get it. Let's see this one. Oh, well, she doesn't even have a voice. What the hell is this? Let's see, April. This is bullshit. I wanted another one that I can hear. Oh well. I guess one's enough. So, she's. I don't want to break it down too much, but that first uh, girl seemed like she was a chemist or a pharmacy employee or something. Like, maybe that was just me imagining or fantasizing that she was for some reason but it's like i think that's the impression that i got i don't want to get too freaked out by it but i'm just saying it's like you know you're at the pharmacy with the way you buy this kind of thing and it's like oh yeah you know i use it i got five of them on the go or whatever it's like okay she knows a thing or two and that's great so They've got a lot of credibility, we could just say. Well, let's see about our values, their values. Look, before we get into their values, I'm going to actually try the lip balm. I'm just freaking delaying it. So we'll try it with the easy applicator. Right, here we go. I'm going to get a bit close and personal. Excuse me. All right. Yeah, they did say to apply liberally, right? Jesus, this stuff is crazy. Now, just straight off the bat, it's got some active power in it, like my lips feel kind of medicated, you could say. Are they glistening? They did say to apply liberally. Oh well. Damn, it's tasting real good too. I'm blown away. Wow. It makes you feel good, this stuff. Maybe it's all the alcohol and the freaking estyl settles or whatever. Estyl ester. I did not expect it to be this freaking groundbreaking. I really didn't. Just gonna put it down and gather my thoughts for a second. Holy frickin' mother of mercy. Yeah, this stuff's good. I don't think I need to put any more on, like... They're pretty frickin' glossy. Bombed up, you could say. Mmm. I'm feeling real good. So, yeah, I could almost eat that stuff for breakfast, like, it's got me on cloud nine. Excuse me, uh, yeah, it's got me on cloud nine. You could tell, yeah, you wouldn't have been able to tell me before that I would be this into it, but it's pretty good. I can still feel it, like, burning into my lips in a good way, it's like, I'm feeling the power of the berry. They said the other one's more menthol-y, but it's like, this is a bit menthol -y in a certain way, it's like, not the kind of taste of menthol, but like the power of menthol. It's like a cool burn, if you know what I mean, it's like, damn. Menthols have a lot to offer society. 
I'm feeling real good. Yeah. Well, it is day zero, you know, on my lip journey. So, I don't know how visible the results really are, but like, it doesn't matter. I'm committed to this lip journey. I'm going to be applying this liberally until it runs out. And then I'm going to scoot down to the chemist and I'm going to go, Help! I'm run out of lip balm. Has anyone got a packet of dermal therapy? And she'll say, Yes, they're right here, sir. And I'll say, Hurry up. My lips are freaking chapped and fucked up. And she'll say, Oh, please. I didn't mean to freaking upset you. And I'll say, Whatever. It's like, I'm living a lip balm fantasy now. And the only thing left for me to do is uh, get on a cruise ship and freaking start eating my broccolini. If you know, you know. I'm feeling real good. All right. I'm going to read their story. Owner Stephen and Shelley Sher. That's a funny name, Shelley Sher. Have always been committed to the goal of helping people and treating their skin concerns with products that work epitomize this goal. The calling to find solutions to common skin concerns was further amplified when they themselves were dealing with a family member who was struggling with ongoing skin irritation, which led to the trialing of umpteen products and potential solutions. According to Steve, okay, just when I touch my lips with that, it's feeling real good. I just thought I'd mention that. According to Stephen, investing in research, technology, and product testing is a focus of the company. Uh, in order to make sure that we can say with absolute confidence that our products not only work, but work effectively and quickly, and that they may... They, and that they make you feel, they make your skin feel better, and you feel better, allowing. Okay, let me just pause and freaking rub my lips a little bit. Alright. My lips are feeling good still. Alright. So they're testing technology and whatever to make sure we can say with absolute confidence that our products not only work, but work effectively and quickly, and that they make your skin feel better and you feel better, allowing you to live your life with confidence, doing the things you love. This constant desire for efficacy together with innovation has developed into a business generating brand loyalty and trust through millions of products now sold around the world. The proof is in the product. They invest, blah, blah, no prescription needed. So it's over the counter, feel good. Good skincare feels good when you apply it and improves the look and feel of your skin once used. So I believe that. So just off the bat though, I'm just gonna pause there. Um, I may cut out part of the video of me standing up. We'll see. Uh. I actually was mistaken. I am. Um, I, th I was going to mention that I was already a dermal therapy customer from some other stuff, but it turns out it's not dermal therapy. This ointment I've got is... Dermese, so... My mistake. Anyway, I'm, my lips are feeling good once used. With when it comes to the balm. All right, our purpose. When your skin feels uncomfortable, you feel uncomfortable. You feel itchy, painful, and sometimes awkward and, and embarrassed. And you switch from cream to oil to treatment and nothing seems to work. You definitely don't feel like you're living life the way you like it. Because too much time and energy is spent worrying about your skin. I can relate to this. Like, I don't want to get off the rails, but, you know, if you know, you know. That's why they created dermal therapy. To create products that actually work, that make your skin feel better, and you feel better. 
so that you can live your life with confidence, doing the things you love. So they're helping others, they're problem solvers, they're community, and we're feeling good. They're Australian owned and they're sustainable. They've got initiatives to increase recycling and freaking other stuff. Yeah. Their mission's sounding real good. Let's see what they got for feet. It's like... Okay, they got a heel balm. What is holy moly. And what else have they got? Conditions. Chapped lips. Itchy skin. Dermatitis. Psoriasis. Oh, uh-oh. What do they got for this? Psoriasis cream. I should freaking get that. Okay, I'm getting into the too much nitty gritty here. Yeah, dermal therapy. Hats off to them, like, hats off to them, you know what I mean? Hats off to them, because this lip balm's got me on cloud nine. I don't know where I'd be without it, and I'm feeling real good. And that reviewer, Tess, she knew a thing or two. She's got a foot mask. What? <laughs> Again, I won't play it. It feels like I'm being freaking cruel to them, but I'm not. I'm just sharing the camaraderie of being a freaking lip balm reviewer. Not everybody knows the feeling that goes with this. It's like a shared trust, you know. You look in their eyes and you see, oh, yeah. They've reviewed a freaking foot cream or two. They've reviewed a lip balm or two. We're on the kind of same section of the cruise ship, if you know what I'm talking about. Damn, my lips are feeling real freaking hydrated. Shit. about all I got to say when it comes to this lip balm. I'm feeling good. I'm not going to say I'm looking good, but it's like the lips are feeling good. And uh, 650. I'm surprised. It, like, I'm, it's worth it, we'll say. If you need a hydrating lip balm, 650 is a small price to pay. Just off the bat, as a man who doesn't know what it cost to buy a lip balm I'm a bit surprised that it actually does cost that much because uh, 650 is a pretty spongy meatball like you could buy a freaking Big Mac almost yeah Wellie I think I'm about to sign off on that note. Um, make sure to leave a comment if you're a dermal therapy user, and uh, if you have any lip balm questions or facts and trivia, make sure to freaking let me know about it, because I'm a lip balm enthusiast. One thing to note. Is this lip balm? Like, I did apply it very liberally, but it's got my cigarette all freaking waxed up. It's like, it's not a big deal. You know, it's whatever, but just something to note. It's like, oh yeah, if you smoke freaking rollies and you use a lot of lip balm, it's gonna be waxy. But that's the price you pay. I've been, uh, that was 350. And this has been Lip Balm Dermal Therapy. Barry. Review. That's all. To you. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye bye now.